I'm not gonna show you my feet. I was going to. Right. That's foul. If you order from Gerard Cosmetics, put this in your cart. Oh my god, these are amazing. Six drinks last night and I was drunk. But I've never been able to get this effect just using my own lashes. Why are you so cute? It looked a bit dodged. Like I was like, oh. I'm so excited to see her reaction. It is 10 a.m. Oh, also, welcome to another vlog. I did wake up a bit earlier so I could pack some of my Depop orders that I got last night. So they're all ready for today. I also, um, is it called Kinked? Put some like beachy waves in my hair. I use the Bondi Boost Wave Wand. It's really, really good. Super easy to use. And I just use all my Moroccan oil products. Like I sprayed the, was it the protection spray before? And then I just used one of those serums on my ends and my hair looks really cute and beachy. I should do this more often. It literally just looks so effortless, but my hair was so like frizzy and like just flat. So I just decided to zhuzh it up a bit. Um, I did jump on stories this morning addressing um, obviously what's happening in the world. From me, like educating myself, I've been obviously researching watching videos um and i honestly just cannot believe why the news or how channel 9 news is not broadcasting what's actually happening like if you see all the videos of like real life what is happening in the u.s um it's heartbreaking um if you go onto twitter you can see a lot of those videos i don't know if you have to make an account or not but yeah they're not really on the news or even Facebook. There's lots of Instagram pages. Actually, I will leave the Instagram page that I started following that has posted all like the raw, real stuff that's actually happening um, right now. But yeah, it's just honestly heartbreaking. And the most heartbreaking thing about it is influencers not using their platform to make others aware. Like I literally posted on my makeup account Yesterday, today I jumped on my um, fitness account, pretty much said the same thing and did address the news thing. And the amount of people that replied to me saying they didn't know that was happening was like a shock to me because I just thought everyone has already seen these videos, but apparently not. Someone even messaged me saying, what the actual fuck? I just found out about what's happening. Like imagine if every single influencer or person was speaking about it and how many more people you would reach to spread this it's just it's absolutely mind-boggling to me but yeah i got so many messages saying wow this is the first i've heard or i've never seen those videos ever thank you so much for giving me an insight but like that's what like my platform's here for um spreading awareness and yeah I just wanted to quickly say that. Today I am off to Costco. We actually ran out of toilet paper, finally. Um, so we're gonna go get, we just get the bulk pack because I think it has like 40 rolls in it, which lasts ages. Um, and finally I'm gonna have some time to really like look through and see if I can find any keto things. Um, in regards to what I posted on my Instagram about the Gotzinger, someone messaged me and said that like the reason why they recalled them was because they had gluten in them. So it wasn't actually anything to do with the meat, I don't think, but I just threw them out anyways because I saw it and freaked out. But yeah, they just recalled it because maybe they said that they're gluten free and then they found traces of gluten in it. I don't know. But yeah, so that's that. But they're like literally my favorite sausages. So I'm gonna definitely try and find some keto snacks or stuff there and i'll definitely share on here and probably end on my story as well um but yeah i just thought i'd update you guys happy monday i am booked into pilates tonight at 5 30 i'm gonna do a the cardio one again and then the booty burner after i find that that's a good 
like a good combination like it's not too much so it's 45 minutes plus 30 so like just over an hour of pilates which i find doable whereas when i did that 45 and 45 back to back i was like why have i signed up to this um but yeah i'm just gonna reply to some of your comments on my last vlog and also need to upload my part two today as well so that's what i need to do and work on some of my presets so that's what is happening today um but yeah i'll keep you updated on costco this is my breakfast the when i was pulling apart the macro bread because it was frozen it kind of just yeah broke like that so one egg some light ricotta poached egg and my coffee Costco is literally insane. But look how big these are. <laughs> oh my god. This is what we've got so far. Can't believe those are low carb. I'm obsessed with polenta. Oh, that's what? pizza. What do you mean? Look at pizza. Looks good, hasn't it? Mm. Fifteen dollar like pizzas. Time. I can't really tell. Yeah, I'm gonna try these Deadle. ones. What? Dead all? <laughs> no. I'm gonna try these Kranskis instead. And then I found this almond milk that lots of you guys recommended. Good morning, guys. Peter wants breakfast, but I was like, I'm gonna show you guys what we got from Costco yesterday. So we didn't really get that many things. Um, I was very intrigued about these. And then I didn't look at the serving sizes because I was like, oh my God. 3.4 grams of carbs per serving, not knowing that a serving size was one polenta fry, which is 25 grams. But I had a few last night, can confirm they are amazing if you're not on keto. Um, and then I got this set. I spoke about it or I posted about it last night. It's actually really, really soft. It's just like a lilac loungewear set. It was $22. Highly recommend it. It's really, really nice. We just got a roast chicken because they're $7. Big QP mayo. And I got some more Makona Nespresso pods. I'm pretty sure I've said this before, but I'm not really fussed on pods. Like I feel like they all taste the same. So we just got this. I think it was $25 for 60, which is not bad. And then Peter got a massive pizza because apparently they're good. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys, we also got these sausages. So they're the Don's Kranskis. I think I prefer the Gotzinger ones and I didn't throw them all away. I've still got one. So yeah, they only got recalled because apparently they found gluten in them and they're like advertised as gluten-free, but I'm not gonna be throwing them out. Um, and then Peter just got a big thing of nuggets and also these, but won't be having that, but yeah. That's what we got from Costco, and now I can't fit everything in my freezer. <laughs> hey, one last thing. I got this Inside Out Original Almond Milk. So these are the macros, 1.2 grams of carbs, 1.2 sugars per serving. When I did post um, on my stories about almond milk, a lot of people did recommend this, but I don't think I have seen this in Coles or Woolies. So yeah, this was around $5.50, I think, but it is a 1.5 liter. So I'll definitely try that in my coffee today and let you know what I think of it. She frothed. Let's give it a taste test. Ooh, that tastes very different. Tastes like... It's got like, it tastes like almonds, like proper almonds. I actually don't mind it. It's very like nutty tasting. Do you want to try it? Yeah, if you don't like the taste of like actual almonds, I don't mind it. Would I buy it again? Probably not. I think I still prefer the Aldi unsweetened one, which we do need to get more of when we go to the shops today. Peter's gonna try this. I might have. Oh, it's not even cut. Sorry, we got to cut it. Okay. So the thing is, is it gonna fit on this? Oh. 
I got a question um, on my Instagram saying, oh my God, I've always wanted to try them, but I don't think it fits in our, um, like in our oven. Look at our oven. It is massive. Okay, you're going to chuck it in? Oh wait, it's not. It's not heated up yet, but it just fits on this. It is huge. This is normal. No, it's not. That's like bigger a large, than a normal. It's a large pizza. Extra large, no, I reckon. It's a large. Well, this is take and bake barbecue meat lovers pizza. It's a barbecue. You are fucked up there. What? What do you think it was? <laughs> well, look at all the ingredients. How bad is that? Wheat flour, gluten, anti-caking agent, preservative, water, sugar. <laughs> Peter just accidentally knocked off my sock because you stepped on it. Is it wet? Yes. Um, my feet. I'm not going to show you my feet. I was going to. Right. That's foul. I want to eat dinner. I'm not even joking. That's disgusting. That's too far. That's too far. It's like, it honestly is like I got sunburnt so bad. It's not like a blistering, but it's, it's peeling. So I haven't taken my sock because apparently you're not meant to like pick the skin. You're just meant to. Do you want me to put some um, That's skin on your pizza? Imagine if I did that. Yeah, you'd be sick. So guys, it does work. Maybe it's not like I don't think it's at its full like peeling potential, but I'll show you guys if it gets like really hectic. But little update. I made this salad again for like the fourth night in a row. Cucumber, sour cream, garlic, and cherry tomatoes. So good. And I've got a slice of pizza. <clears throat> How are you gonna eat that? It's all right. Not the best pizza I've had. Good morning guys. Oh, I don't really feel too good after that slice of pizza. It wasn't even like, I don't even know why I continued to eat it, but I did. Anyways, um, good morning. It is Peter's mum's birthday today. I'll show you guys what he got her. Oh my God, she's so lucky. Um, I don't have her present yet, which is annoying, but it's coming. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah. Yeah, I wanted to come on here and I found this video last night, a YouTube video. Basically, this girl, like a YouTuber, posted an hour-long video. Just a compilation of um, people of color art, some songs, some pictures, some like little snippets of stories, some quotes. Um, basically, what she's done is she's put like 50 ads throughout the video. Um, and all the revenue that is generated from that video, she will be donating to the families that have needed to hold funerals um, and just so many other organizations. She's actually listed it all in the video. I can't remember from the top of my head, but she's also included um, helpful links, like petition links and stuff like that. But all of that information is on the YouTube video description. So I'll definitely leave that below. If you aren't in the position to donate, it's a great way to basically donate money for free. Just watch that video. It's literally running in my office as we speak. Um, make sure you don't skip the ads. You watch all the ads from start to finish because YouTubers actually get more revenue. It's not a lot, but obviously it all counts. Um, YouTubers actually get more revenue if you watch and not skip the ads. So even if like an ad popped up during the video, watch it all the way through and it'll give that YouTuber um, the maximum amount of revenue. It's probably like five cents. I don't even know, but obviously the more um, ads on someone's YouTube video, the more revenue that they're getting. It's not that much to be honest, but obviously if you have heaps and heaps of views, it does 
um, end up counting, if that makes sense. I'll leave that YouTube video down below for all of my younger followers that do want to contribute, but obviously are either too young to donate or um, they just want to watch and they want to contribute more. Um, so yeah, I'll leave that listed down below. So I thought that was really helpful. I also went to the PO box yesterday and picked up a few things. Morphe Brushes sent me some liquid lipsticks, lip crayons, a matte lipstick. This is, I think, an eyeliner. No, it must be a lip liner. So thank you so much for sending that. And then this lovely girl who have just started a small business called Cloud Dye sent me some of her pieces. How freaking cool. I love this singlet. So she basically just does tie-dyeing. So yeah. So she sent me that. I love this jumper. How freaking cute is it? And then this is just a long sleeve top. Which is super cool. It looks really comfy. Even for like bed, but... Thank you so much for going out of your way to do this for me. That is her Instagram, Cloud Dye. So cool. Thank you so much. But yeah, they're the things that I picked up yesterday. Um, but yeah, today we are celebrating um, Peter's mum's birthday. We're just going to go over there around lunchtime um, and have, I think she's organized a cake and some food. Um, so I finally get to dress up and wear makeup for once. I think I'm going to put my ponytail extension in. Hey guys, just gonna do, oh my God, so messy in the background. Just gonna do my hair and makeup. Thought I'd vlog it, cause when I was speaking about my, pretty much just like my page and YouTube evolution. <laughs> um, a lot of you guys do miss my beauty content and I do really wanna film more for you guys. But do you guys wanna see makeup videos like on myself or would you rather me reach out to like models or others to do makeup on like what kind of makeup looks or things do you want me to do like obviously i can do makeup videos that like are trending using new products um but yeah i have so many old and really helpful like makeup tutorials that i've already uploaded so if you obviously haven't seen that Go check it out. But um, I'm gonna try this brightening eye cream. Um, yeah, let me know what like types of beauty videos you wanna see. Cause I'd obviously rather do what um, you guys wanna watch. So if there's like certain brands or certain products or certain types of looks, let me know. Cause makeup changes all the bloody time. Um, so yeah. I'm just putting on this under eye cream by Ole Hemrickson. I use their moisturizer. It's actually really nice. I didn't even realize I had this in here. Um, yeah, I'm just going to do something really basic. I am going to put in my ponytail hair extension. This one is from Emily Hadrill. So I'm pretty sure you can get this online from Jador Hair Supplies, I think. Or if you're from the Gold Coast you can go in, but that's the hair extension that I use. I've still got a flat in it, but I'm just gonna do my makeup. So I've already moisturized. I'm gonna go in with the Embryless. Um, pop that all over. Honestly, my background is so messy. Okay, then I'm just gonna go in with a brush. I'm gonna try and make this as quick and simple as I can. I always say that. I'm gonna go in with my favorite foundation right now. It's the Anastasia one. And then I like to put in a few drops of the Iconic. Sleek does some good ones as well. I think they're a little bit cheaper. This is what I got from Boohoo. It's just a highlighting elixir, but any sort of like, Oh, you could also, I could have used this as well. The Gerard Cosmetics BB Plus Illumination Cream. That one's a good one too. I just put one pump on. But what I just like to do first is just get the foundation on my face. My God, this feels weird putting my makeup on. I feel like, wait, no, I haven't actually worn makeup all week. <laughs> Literally all week. That's sad. I definitely need to pump out more makeup videos. So that is my plan.
plan of attack next week. Um, also, you know how I filmed that bridal, um, what the hell is that? Bridal makeup look, lost the footage. I went through all of my SD cards last night and I couldn't find it. So I'm definitely gonna have to refilm that because I feel like that was a really helpful video. Then I'm gonna go in with, I'm trying to think if I've got any concealer. I don't really, but I do really like this hourglass one. That one's way too light though. Actually, I'm just gonna use this Benefit one because I can't find the other color. Benefit Cakeless, this one's almost run out. This one's a really good concealer. Then, blend. I'm just gonna go in with the Kylie powder, the translucent one. Probably my favorite at the moment and just use that to blend, not blend. Set under my eyes. I've actually really been liking the Fenty products. Like I've used them twice now. The new cream bronzers, they're actually really good and easy to use, especially for beginners that are not really um, sure about cream bronzers, but this one's a good one. This is the shade 05 Teddy. I personally just use like a makeup brush. Like this isn't like a stippling brush or any sort of brush for like damp products. Like this brush isn't really made for I think cream products. It's literally just a normal makeup brush. Like this is I think, what well, doesn't it say? It's a Spectrum A04, but it's just a dome tapered brush like for contouring, but like it, it works really well in blending creams. So I'm gonna use that to bronze. It just like blends out really well. I'm gonna use the Kylie powder again and just use that on the rest of my face. Last time I did my makeup, I actually used this again. It's literally like one of my OG products, the Astralis Fresh and Flawless. And I forgot how good it was. I only really used to use it to add extra coverage, whereas I feel like I kind of like the more natural look, but I used to pack this on over the top of my um, <laughs> foundation because that actually is a foundation in itself. I'm just going to go in with Hoola, my favorite, um, and I'm just going to take, I'll just take the brush that I came with because it's quite good, and just kind of go over the places that I contoured, just to set them under the lip, makes your lip look a bit bigger. Don't forget under the chin, in case you want to hide your chins. You know, you could go from three to one. That's what I used to do. <laughs> and then, you know, blush. I literally never would have thought I would be into blush like I am. Like, I love it. Like, I love the look. It's so funny how makeup trends just change. Like, I don't know, you see it on someone, you're like, whoa, that's nice. I'm going to try it. And then you just love it. So this is the KKW um, X makeup by Mario collab um, with KKW, obviously. It's in the shade Very Graceful, and I just, I don't know. Sometimes I like glowy blushes, sometimes I like matte. This one's matte, but it's just really stunning on my skin tone, see? It's a really nice, just flush of color. Like, I would have never used this much blush a year ago. Like, there was just no way. Okay, highlighter. Let's go with the Anastasia one. I'm gonna use Starlight by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I used to be obsessed with this. Whoa, it worked really well on my clients with fair skin because it's quite light and it really shows up. It's probably a little bit too light for my complexion at the moment, but if you're wanting that really intense highlight, this is the one. 
really, really pretty. I just love all Anastasia products. Like she just nails it all. She's an absolute queen. Love that. Um, actually, I'm gonna go get the new lip products from her from my other room because I received them the other week and I haven't even opened them. So be right back. Okay, I'm back. I'm just gonna go in. I feel like all I use is Anastasia, but I just love her. Um, I'm just gonna use the Anastasia brush, not brush, brow pencil. This one's in the shade Taup, Taup. Don't know how to say it. Um, and then I'm just gonna fill in my brows. I'm kind of liking like the messy brow look as opposed to like a clean brow. I don't hate it. Okay, then I'm just gonna go in with a really light layer of the P. Louise base. If you haven't heard about this as an eye base, you've been living under a rock because it's amazing. It's just a, I don't know, it's just a base that really makes eyeshadow stick and it's just a good investment, especially if you're a makeup artist or even on yourself, obviously, because I use it, but yeah, I just loved using that. Just made the biggest difference and it was just, I don't know, it's so easy to use. You don't need a lot of it either. So I'm just packing that on. I'm not even going to bother about um, carving around my brows just because just can't be bothered. But I also carve out my brows with this product too if I want that really precise brow look. But like I said... I just kind of want to have a natural brow moment. And then I'm gonna take just a large fluffy brush. This one's just Makeup Addictions. I mean, I would use another palette, but this one's here and available for me. So I'm just gonna use the Soft Glam. It's just really versatile, I freaking love it. And I'm just gonna go all over my lid with it. I'm using Burnt Orange. Imagine if I collabed with Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'd probably have a bloody heart attack. <gasps> imagine. Oh, imagine. That is absolute goals. Imagine my own palette with Anastasia Beverly Hills. One can only dream. <laughs> so I've just taken that product and just blended it basically up to my eyebrow, but obviously with less product on the brow. I always like to use my fingers if I feel like I've put too much on. I just wipe it away. And then I'm literally taking the gold and just putting that on my mobile lid. So funny. When it comes to doing my own makeup, I'm so careless and messy. But then when it's someone else, I'm like, gotta get it perfect. So funny. Right back. It was my low carb emporium order. So I'll show you guys that when we get home because we've got to actually leave soon. I didn't realize I don't really have that much time left. Okay, did that, blended it. Taking that color again on the lower lash line. Oops, not the gold. I don't even know if I'm going to wear lashes to be honest. I'm definitely going to wear eyeliner. I'm going to use still haven't got some more of that Rimmel one. I'm just going to use this Too Faced eyeliner to do a wing. I actually used one the other day. It was from, oh yeah, it was from that brand VR Face. And it was actually quite good. I've seen that, um... It's not a TikTok trend because I've seen it obviously elsewhere, but the, um, hold on, the bat wing trend for people with hooded eyes. I might actually do a video on it because it actually does work. Like I kind of just did it. 
see how when my eyes you can't really see it but um yeah there's like a little trend going around where you do your eyeliner a certain way if you have hooded eyes and it kind of looks like a bat wing when you close your eyes but then when you open your eyes it looks like a proper wing i'll try and see if i can do it it's hard because my eyes aren't extremely hooded well they're not really that hooded but um yeah it would definitely be like look more prominent on eyes that are hooded can't really tell but it kind of goes down in a step rather than just like a wing but yeah I might do a video on that because it's really interesting and it actually works for very very hooded eyes I kind of took the concept and did it just then which I don't mind okay now I'm gonna put some mascara on and I have been loving the Huda Beauty one don't think I've said it on my stories just because I'm kind of muting all of my beauty content just to, you know, create more awareness for Black Lives Matter. So I haven't really had the chance to do any sort of makeup reviews um, just out of respect. So, um, yeah, the Huda Beauty mascara is actually really good. I was a little bit skeptical. There's two sides to it. So this side's volume. This side is for curl and length which is looks like that and I was shocked at how good it was like I know Huda Beauty is like a queen and stuff like that but like to me mascaras are just mascaras like it doesn't I feel like the wand is what's most important and I feel like she just nailed it so I'm gonna do the length and curl first so I always curl my eyelashes like that makes the biggest difference if you want your eyelashes to curl up you have to curl them like if you have naturally straight eyelashes and you put mascara on your eyelashes will look the same like they will not curl up so Def's recommending getting an eyelash curler you can literally get them from anywhere Coles, Woolies, Priceline they're about five dollars under ten using the curl side first and also a trick to getting really long like voluminous lashes is layering so you can't just do one layer and expect your lashes to be like false lashes so I'm using the curl first in the bathroom the spare bathroom no, they're not. They're on the oh maybe they're in the um, bath because I had to mop okay so that's the first layer you can already see my eyelashes above the eyeliner which is quite rare for me because I have pretty shit eyelashes like naturally I've never really had long thick eyelashes um, I'm just gonna wait for them to dry a bit but that's literally the result of just using the curl and lengthen which isn't the best one in my opinion like this one's the wand okay and then what you want to do is just go over it again make sure you're really reaching the base of your lashes can't really tell on camera but I've never been able to get this effect just using my own lashes with mascara look at that I feel like I've got more eyelashes on this side not sure why probably because I sleep on that side um, but yeah that's just like that's it two layers of the Huda Beauty mascara life-changing if you did want them thicker keep layering I personally don't really like the clumpy look like I'm pretty sure Addison Rae bloody puts <laughs> 10 layers of mascara on but wow her lashes are amazing They're probably so long naturally and they look fake when she puts um, mascara on but yeah I'm just gonna go over the tips just to give them that extra bit of yeah see i feel like i don't need to wear falsies which is a big thing for me like i always always had to put falsies on um when i was wearing winged liner like because you can't see my lashes but i feel like that's enough you know i'm not even gonna put lashes on 
Life changing. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do um, bird shit. So I'm going to take, I still piss myself every time. I'm just going to take this, oh, that almost came out. Laura Geller Gilded Honey, just in the center. Love that. Can't really tell on camera. But it's just a really subtle inner corner highlight without the white look. And that's it. I'm just going to get some lip liner. Honestly love this one from Dried Cosmetics. It's probably my favorite out of the Share one. It's sugar and spice. It's actually, I think it's my favorite. If you order from Dried Cosmetics, put this in your cart. Like, it is the best lip liner I've ever used. I need to sharpen it really badly, though. But it's seriously the best. Pretty sure, wait, no, my code still works. Jazz25 from five years ago. And I'm pretty sure you get 20 or 25% off. I can't remember. Um, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to line my whole lips with this. I'm going to crack open the new lip gloss set from Anastasia and chuck on that nude one because it looks amazing. This one is in the shade Nude, N-O-O-D. Oh my god. Yes. Wow. That is a really nice color. We'll be putting that in my bag. Okay, now I'm just going to spray my face. This is the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Don't have that much time. I think Peter's like, hurry up. Which is normally the other way around. Like, I'm always the one that gets dressed first. But I feel like because I'm filming, I'm taking twice as long. So my hair is extremely oily. Like, honestly, to the point where I almost can't even style it. I'm just going to brush it up. I'm going to take some hairspray. To help me get all the little baby hairs. I'm just gonna take this hair tie. Tighten my ponytail. Oh, I hate when that happens. Always get like an unintentional like quiff. <laughs> I used to wear quiffs when I was in high school. Okay. Ponytails up, you get the hair extension, brush it through, chuck it on, secure it, wrap it around like so, as tight as you can, otherwise it'll literally fall off. Wrap it around a few times, then, <laughs> Get a bobby pin and secure that if I can find a bobby pin. Of course, I didn't bring one. Oh, here's one. Yes, random bobby pin saves the day. Bobby pin. I do actually use quite a few of these just to make sure it really doesn't move. And that's it. That's all it takes. I've got my little plaid in still. <laughs> so that was really cute. Um, you can also like put it around here if you want. A little plait. I might actually do that. Just put the plaid in. I'm gonna go get dressed and I'll chat to you guys later. Oh my God, this just arrived and I'm straight into this. <gasps> oh my God. Is that a bounty? I'm Deb. She's actually amazing. Sweet Cheeks Keto is her Instagram. Thank you so much. So, this is what I ended up wearing. I did end up putting lashes on. I just felt a bit like incomplete, even though my eyelashes were still long. I was just like, I need that little something something. When I've got my hair up, all done up 
Um, so yeah, this is the jacket that I got from Princess Polly. Oh, he's putting the present in. I'm so excited to see her reaction. Um, we need to go to the post office to pick up a few things. One of them being my Elite Subs order, which I'm super excited for because we're running low on protein. And I have also last night ordered some vegan protein as well for me to test out because I've been on the hunt to find a good one to like share with you guys because obviously I am aware that like a lot of people are vegan. So yeah, I'm going to definitely try out a couple. I think I did order like four or five different brands that are keto friendly um to try so i can share that with you guys when they arrive but yeah i'm just excited for my smart protein bars because i haven't had them for ages um but yeah we'll keep you posted how cute is the setup she's gonna be so shook this is annalisa's new dog <gasps> stop it look <gasps> who's that Look at them, he is so cute. He's like, what the hell? <laughs> so hyper. Come here. This is Neo. He's a chihuahua. And honey. Honey's a little puppy. Pomeranian. Oh. Just makes me want dogs every time I come around. <laughs> Say hi to YouTube. Look. <gasps> Who's that? Who's that? <laughs> I'll just be here. Hey, Bubby. Oh. Hello. Oh, look at Neo. <gasps> I love you too. Look. I think you like that. You are so adorable. Come here. <gasps> Why are you so cute? Why are you so cute? <gasps> Pete, I want a dog. You are so fluffy. But you're cute as well. Come here. <laughs> Honey is just like still in the spotlight. Oh, are you scared? He's a bit shy. <gasps> he better not poo on me. My honey gets jealous when I touch Neo. Are you going to do a haul with me? <laughs> Neo's so shy. When, like, he never used to be... Shy, look, he won't even touch me. That dog's just taken over. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys my Elite Sups order. So we got some more, yeah. Where'd they go? There they are. We got, oh, we got chocolate decadence this time, Peter. We haven't tried this one yet. The Isopet. Excited. Peter loves this one. It's the Biotech Cookies and Cream. So that's another good one, and it's also low carb as well. Actually, no, this one's not as low as carb. Low in carbs as Isopept. This one's 5.2, but it's got 0 0.8 sugars, whereas the Isopept is 2 grams of carbs. So that one's a tad higher, but they taste really good. They're really smooth. I got some more Vitaworks white chocolate. This one's the Quinoa Puff one, which I also like. And then I got some more white chocolate macadamias. Have to get the 12 pack. I was like, no, I'm just teasing them. They're so good. They're dangerous though. And then I saw that this was new on their website, the Keto Pancake Mix, which I haven't actually seen anywhere. It is, how many carbs? One net carb per serving. And there is, how many servings in here? Okay, it's American, so it's a bit weird. 180 calories. It's not saying how many servings. It's saying two pancakes per serving, but it's not telling me 
how many servings, which is weird. We'll have to figure that out. But I got the buttermilk um, flavor. They also do have um, like banana, which I did order um, for my next order. Makes 32 pancakes or crepes. Seven grams of protein, 15 grams of fat, naturally sweetened. So I'll defs keep you updated on that. Then I got my favorite smart protein bar in salted caramel. I'm gonna have one of those now. But these are literally my favorite protein bars ever. They are so good. They taste even better when they've been in the fridge and hard. So highly recommend them. And the macros on those ones, uh, I think it's like 0.8 carbs. 0.9 carbs, 0.3 sugars, 160 calories. So they're my fave. And then they put in a couple more shakers. Not that we need any. <laughs> We've literally got a whole... Southern of Depop just... <laughs> um, and then like you saw this is like a sample that they've given the lean muscle mass builder <laughs> just so fluffy hello um they also did are you right <laughs> they also i wouldn't laugh <laughs> they oh, also um, gave me some samples that they've oh, been no, working on if it's bum stop what <laughs> They also gave me some samples that are, I think, in production oh, at the moment. So these are their new Emerald Labs brand. Did you know that Elite Sops is coming out with their own brand called yeah. Emerald Labs? Um, so these are two so we'll, samples. I'm using it as a platform with trying to look at what's in there. <laughs> Killer Python and Blue Crush. We are launching oh. these flavors plus three more in July, and we are extremely excited. Please see samples on a fast stomach with 400 mils of cold water. If you would like the product, please let us know. What is it? It is this. What is that? Pre what is it? It's a pre shred. I think it's a must be a. Oh no, it's a fat burner. Killer Python. Imagine Killer Python. Yeah, that would has be yum. It has to taste the same. What I don't know about it. You know, so it's a fat burner, not you know, Yeah, there's Killer Pythons that are with different colours. Yeah, but that's like one I taste. It would taste like better. it. We'll try it. <laughs> Killer Python and then a, a raspberry one. But yeah, that will be launching soon. Oh, so geez, I'm trying to get fat right now. Let you know. You're trying to get fat. Oh, yeah. Well, oh, this would be great <laughs> for you then. Have you seen that? No. Now, no, I'll definitely try that and let you know. Today, pretty much nine kilos, so don't slow down. <laughs> no, I'm just under. <laughs> Big boy. Okay, I'm gonna leave this out. Do you want a protein bar or? Yeah. But yeah, that's everything that I got from Elite Sucks. Keen to try this pancake mix, well, especially. It doesn't, doesn't move. Right on the back. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, I'll definitely let you guys know how those new products go and when I get the vegan ones as well. Um, does mum need a protein shaker? Maybe I'll leave them for her because I've got so many. Um, yeah, I'll definitely let you know about the keto pancake mix, but my code is JAZZ10% for 10% off Elite Sups. And yeah, like I said, I'll let you know about the vegan proteins that I've just ordered as well. Do you want to show them what I got? Oh. Okay, so I got a package from Dermalogica. So I'll show you guys what I got. This is the cleanser that I use literally every day. I double cleanse with it in the shower. Absolutely love it. It's my favorite and I would never use anything else because it's just worked for me. I got a couple new products. I've actually been using this one underneath my eyes and I was running low. So I got it again. It's just the BioLumen C Eye Serum. Do you want the packaging? It's gonna rip that to shreds. Excuse me. <laughs> I got the Skin Perfect Primer because I was running low as well. This is really good for blurring your pores. Oh, they're gonna take him. You know what? Wait, wait. There you go. Got one. There you go. Oh, it's just paper. There you go. That'll, yeah, chew it up. That'll keep them entertained for a, a bit. I got some of the Stress Positive Eye Lift. This is an eye serum. It's a bit mean taking me as well. What? It's a bully. Who? I was a bully. What? She wanted that one. <laughs> then I got some more active moist. I haven't had look, this. Look. That's mean. You're your own. 
Smack your bottom. Smack your bottom. Smack your bottom. Oh! That's mean. Don't be mean. Do your own. Then I got the Active Moist. This is one of my favorite moisturizers, so I decided to get it again. It smells really good as well. We're going to start fighting. I can see it. <laughs> and then lastly, I got this the peel, which is basically like a professional grade at home peel, and I really wanted to try it, so I'll let you guys know how that goes. So it's pretty similar to the so peels that you get from, <laughs> from the... Um, clinics. So I'm excited. So thank you so much Dermalogica. And I also got some hydrating body cream. But those products that I showed you are literally my faves. Happy birthday. Oh my god. Jason. <laughs> Maybe Jay should take the photo. She should take it. <laughs> Hey guys, so I thought I would show you guys what I got yesterday. Um, this lovely company called Vego sent me their plant-based protein to try, so I'll keep you guys updated. Um, pretty good macros for keto, 3.3 grams of carbs and 0.8 sugars. Oh my god, these are amazing. Peter's mum went to Costco yesterday and i was like okay i regret not buying these myself because so many of you guys like reply back to my stories and was like oh my god these are amazing and addictive i literally almost finished the whole thing like it's hard i probably did three quarters of it yesterday they're so good so i may have overindulged in them and then um i got her to get me these again because i couldn't find my ones that i originally got from big w and they just cracked on me. Both of them cracked. Like they were, I think they were just the big W brand. So yeah, I didn't really have high expectations of them. I think I got them two for $10. Anyways, I got some more. They're the same size. So 250 mils. Um, these were eight of them for $35, which is so good. And apparently this brand is quite decent. So that's the brand. But yeah, just from Costco, if you live in Perth, like in the appliances section, but how cute. I love these glasses because they don't, they're not hot on your hands, but then they keep your coffee nice and hot and they look really cute. So I'm gonna have to wash them. Um, I'm gonna charge my battery because it's about to die. But I also got the new Anastasia Norvina palette. It's really cute, I'll show you guys later. Um, and then I got my low carbon pouring order. So I'll unpack that and show you guys what I got. Hello everyone. Oh my god, I literally look like a mess. Got a pimple here. Actually, two pimples. I needed these so bad today, but I'm pretty sure I haven't caught up with you or vlogged since Marnie's party, Peter's mum. Um, so I yeah, we went over um and we just had like the family over and stuff like that and I did overindulge on some stuff hence the pimples I tried some of the birthday cake which was obviously not sugar free yeah I'm not like beating myself up about not eating what I normally would on my genora because I am hungover I actually don't drink like I've never been a drinker like when I was younger I did and like I went through that phase when I was 18 and I went out every weekend, got really drunk. But I don't know, since like the past couple years, I just haven't really been into that. Like I'll have like one or two and I'll be like, that's it. That's me done. I'm such a lightweight. Like I literally had like six drinks last night and I was drunk. <laughs> But yeah, it was fun. I went to um, my friend Jade's house. I met her through Peter because he's friends with her boyfriend. It was just nice to go and have like a little girls night, have a few drinks, talk shit. And yeah, I got a bit drunk. I actually got a, a few messages on my Instagram because obviously I haven't really been posting my everyday routine or my life just to kind of make space for stuff that matters um so i've been posting lots of information and resources and videos and stuff um around black lives matter because for me i think that's more important than me posting 
my food and my coffee and stuff on my Instagrams and I did get a few messages saying are you okay um, or like I miss your voice and it's so cute I'll start you know posting my normal stories everyday routine um, but keeping in mind that I still will be you know spreading awareness to this because it's not just a thing that you need to share for a week it's like a long-term movement like it's not something that's just on trend to post about for a week it's something that needs to be like spoken about and addressed and made aware of forever like it's not just yeah so um i'm definitely going to be conscious of that and you know start to look at supporting like black owned businesses and stuff like that like beauty wise skincare wise um yeah i just it's really opened my eyes to so many things that I obviously wasn't aware of. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely going to make a conscious effort to um, do that and support um, people of color owned businesses and stuff like that. So yeah, that's just where I'm at right now. I literally am not planning on doing anything today except for I probably will like clean the house a little bit so I don't have to do as much tomorrow. But because I have been like sort of absent on social media, you know, your girl's got to work. Social media is my job. I have contracts and collabs that, you know, that was planned this week and stuff like that. Obviously has been moved over to next week um, on both pages. So yeah, I've got lots to catch up on. So yeah, that's where I'm at. I'm going to jump on my um, latest YouTube video and see what questions you guys have for me. Here's one. Not really influencer related, but I think... Heaps of you guys just sent random questions, which is fine. Um, where's your pink makeup chair from? It's from Amart Furniture. Pretty sure it was $2.49. Another really popular question is, where is your LV, this is not it, where is your LV white phone case from? Okay, so it's not LV, it's not real LV. I actually, I don't know why or how it even popped up on my Instagram as like a sponsored ad. So it wasn't like a, a website or anything like so I clicked it and um, it just like took me to this page and it was I think like 19 US dollars. Anyways, it looked a bit dodge like I was like, oh, I don't know, like I like it. So I'm just going to buy it. Anyways, I bought it literally in February. Like it took that long, like three months to come. I was like, oh, I've been scammed, whatever. Um, yeah, I'll just maybe deal with with it through PayPal or something and hopefully get my money back. But like, I wasn't really fast because only $19. Anyways, I was like, okay, got scammed. That's my fault. Like, this is why you don't like trust Instagram ads that aren't like, don't look legit. Anyway, so it arrived um, three months later. And then I went to go through my PayPal because obviously heaps of you guys have been replying to my stories, asking where it's from. It's not like an actual website. Like it, it was just like a page that popped up. Like I, it doesn't even say the website on it. I did go through my PayPal transactions and I was like, okay, I scrolled all the way down to February, found it, and it didn't have a website name or anything. It just said like something in Chinese, like some sort of blah, 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 P-T-Y-D or something like that. So I was like, okay, maybe I'll just search that in the search bar. Maybe that's like their company name. So I searched it. First thing that came up, do not buy from this company. They're a scam or something like that. And I was like, sweet. Couldn't find the website for the life of me. So yeah, for those that are asking, I got it from a Facebook ad. Maybe you could type in white LV phone case, but that one personally, well, it wasn't a scam because I did end up receiving it. But yeah, I don't want to share like the actual company name in case they do scam you because there was so many forums and stuff like that. Like maybe I will still like leave it linked down below. So purchase at your own risk. Um, yeah, I literally couldn't get a website from searching the company name. Like nothing came up in regards to like phone cases or anything. I did click on a website and it was like random shit. Like I couldn't find the phone case. So yeah, that's where I got the phone case from for those hundreds of questions. And obviously I don't want to like promote something that you could possibly get scammed from. So yeah, note to self, don't buy from Facebook ads if it doesn't look legit. How do you get paid by AdSense? I just started a channel. Um, so I 
I personally didn't think that you could get paid through YouTube ads until I had 100,000 subscribers. Literally, I remember the day where I was talking to Brittany, Brittany Saunders, and she was telling me how she gets money off YouTube. And I just always thought brands like gave her money to post about like certain things, like product reviews or whatever, and that's how she got her money. I didn't actually know that YouTube itself paid you um, for ads like that they place on top of your videos. And she told me, and I was like, what do you mean? She's like, have you not set that up yet? And I was like, set what up? Like, what are you talking about? And she's like, like, you need to set up like a YouTube AdSense account so then you can place ads on your videos and get money. And I was like, what? So I did it straight away. Not, like I've already said this so many times, like my vlogs probably generate under $100 or maybe even under 50 sometimes of ad revenue. So it's not really, like like I've said before, I probably wouldn't be able to live off my AdSense. Just putting it out there. Like it's nothing amazing. The money that YouTubers get for being on YouTube is through brands um, giving them money to to promote on their YouTube. So it's not like from AdSense, but yeah, you can actually like Google AdSense and then there'll be like links to where you can create an account and link it up to your channel. And then there's like a guide where you can, yeah, start gaining revenue on your YouTube videos, but just saying it's nothing special. Like, like I said, nothing to live off, but yeah. So basically how we get paid from ads is from you watching the ad. So we literally probably get one cent when you watch a whole ad or maybe even five. I don't know. It's something really small, but if you skip the ads, the YouTuber gets less. If you just keep the ad rolling, they get more. If you actually click the ad, they get even more. I'm talking like a couple cents here. Um, but yeah, like that's just how the whole YouTube AdSense works. The more ads on someone's video, the more like the ads are being watched, which means the more money that they're getting. That's how AdSense works. Um, where is your Apple Watch strap from? I'm from New Zealand. Please reply. Um, it's from Caseify. It's just their Safiano leather. I don't have it on right now, but all of my Apple Watch straps are from Caseify and I love them. I've had that pink one for ages, like absolutely ages. But yeah, it's really good. Where is your quartz crystal and head statue jewelry stands from? Well, the quartz um, little trinket will be on my website, hopefully. I still haven't got samples for it yet, but I have looked into it, so I'm super excited. I just think it's a nice little like bedside table accessory that you can just put your rings or your jewelry on just to make them look nice. And yeah, they're just really cute. So yeah, fingers crossed. I found a good supplier. I still haven't got the samples yet, but I'm definitely looking into having them on my website. They are very hard to source, which is annoying. That's why like no one really has them anywhere. Um, so yeah, I'm literally trying my hardest to find a really nice one to have on the website for when I launch. And then the statue is from Amazon. Literally Amazon, I'll leave the link down below. I think it was like $20. Um, yeah. Yeah. That's where my statue's from. Okay, another question in regards to ads. I'm curious if you earn more money from ads if we watch the full thing. Like, is the rate the same whether the ads play in full or skipped after five seconds? Thanks so much. Can't wait for your jewelry to launch. Thank you so much. Yes, like I said before, if you watch the whole ad without skipping it, the YouTuber gets more revenue. Like I said, it's not much, but obviously it all counts if everyone is watching the full ad. I'm guilty of skipping ads. Like, I think that's just normal. <laughs> so I honestly don't mind. Um, but yeah, YouTubers do get more if you actually watch the full ad. And then I think even more if you click the ads. Will you design your own watch bands and phone cases again? Do you mean with Caseify? Because I have actually spoken to them about it. So possibly, but I kind of want to make my own. Like, I think that would be really cool to have on the website as well. To have like jewelry and like watch accessories. I haven't really looked into phone cases, but definitely would be cool to have um, watch bands for Apple Watch wearers. I know it won't be as popular like as like jewelry or other accessories, but just because I personally love my Apple Watch and... Yeah, that could be something down the track. I'm not going to say no, but yeah, definitely something that I can look into. What do you use in the Isle of Paradise face tanning drops? There's three shades. I use the medium. 
Um, I don't think I've used the dark. I've used the light before. And I feel like it's kind of the same as the medium, but I pick up the medium ones. Where is your pastel blue saucepan from? I've been looking for them for ages. I literally just got that one from Aldi. Um, like in the middle section. I think it was like $10 a couple months ago. Aldi have really cool stuff like that. Or even like a cheap store like Red Dot if you're from Perth. Or like the Reject shop sometimes have really small saucepans. So maybe check that out because every time I go into those kinds of shops, they have those kinds of um, little saucepans and stuff for making keto treats. So yeah, that's pretty much all the questions. I'm going to take these eye masks off. They're the ones from James Cosmetics. I received them a few days ago and I freaking love the gold ones. So I just thought I would try... These ones, I can't remember what ones they were. These ones, oh yeah, the 24 karat gold collagen crystal ones were really good. I've literally finished them all. Um, yeah, that's all I have to really update you guys on. Um, I'm probably going to end this vlog here just because I know it's Saturday. Not really planning on doing much tomorrow. I might start a new vlog tomorrow. But yeah, that's pretty much my week. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you next week for another one. Bye.